Today we're heading back into the bathroom to look at three different toilet bowl night lights. We've got Bowl Light, Bowl Bright, and Illuma Bowl. That's today's review as I compare the three of these motion activated toilet bowl lights. This is three of four toilet bowl lights that I wanted to review. There's another one called Glow Bowl that I could not find in stores. So sorry, Glow Bowl, your lack of availability in stores leaves you out of this comparison. But if we have these three, we're gonna take a look and see how they go. First up, we're gonna unbox all three of them. Three AAA batteries not included, three AAA batteries not included, two AA batteries not included. So that's the first step getting them out of the box. That was hard to open, that was easy to open, if that means anything to you. Okay, I've got the batteries in there. The Illumi Bowl was pretty simple. The Bowl Light was pretty simple too. Bowl Bright was a little difficult because see how it says slide that way to open? And guess what, I had to slide the other way to open. Doesn't slide that, doesn't slide that way. Only slides this way. That could be why it's only six bucks. Another difference between the Illumi Bowl and Bowl Light versus the Bowl Bright is these two go on the bowl and this one goes on the lid. Illumi Bowl offers eight colors. Bowl Light offers seven colors. And bowl Bright offers two colors, one for up and one for down. First up, I'm gonna attach Bowl Bright because it goes to the lid. Hopefully it doesn't fall into the toilet. I don't know about that, man. I'm gonna sit up against that. I'm already not liking it already. Oh, we have green. Supposedly it works when the lid is up too. Oh, it knows. That's kind of nifty. So when the lid is up, it's red, and the lid is down, it's green. Oh, I'll give it credit for that. Both the Illumi Bowl and the Bowl Light want you to bend the arms, because right now they're like that, but you're supposed to bend them to conform to the bowl, so you're gonna, we're gonna do that and then put them in the bowl. Bowl Light and Illumi Bowl are similar. Bowl Bright is a little bit different, so that I'm just kind of throwing that one in there because that's a little bit older. It actually came before these. That's, it's like 2014, but I thought it'd be fun to add a third one into it. But really, I'm mainly comparing Bowl Light and Illumi Bowl because they're still advertising, they're still relevant, and they function and look very similar, as you can see. They're both motion and light sensitive, so when they detect motion in darkness, they'll turn on a light in your bowl and give you a show. That, of course, begs the question of whether you really need a colored toilet bowl, especially after you've done your business, but that's a whole other discussion. I'll leave that up to you. Let's start off with bowl light and see how it goes. What you're supposed to do is you have this flexible handle right here. You're supposed to kind of just shape it to the side of the bowl, and you're supposed to point this toward the door. So you kind of want to do it like this. This is the problem that I'm seeing, is that when you close it, you're getting that. You can adjust it a little bit, but you're still, I still seem like I'm putting weight on that arm right there, which may or, not, may or may not be a problem. And when it's in the bowl, you can see it's right there. It shouldn't be in the way to really get too dirty, but I guess that depends on your own use of it. Okay, it didn't turn on probably because there's no motion. Aha, there it goes. Bowl light, it starts off cycling through different colors. There is a button on the front that you can push. And that will toggle through the colors manually. When it flashes like that, it means it's gonna cycle through them. I'm gonna turn the light on, it stays on. Bowl light will stay lit for 45 seconds after it detects no motion. Now it's time for Illumi Bowl, which looks very similar. This arm is a little bit flatter, so maybe it won't cause as much of a problem. As with bowl light, it does need darkness and motion in order to work. Ah, 
Unlike ball light, as soon as the light comes on, it shuts off. Once again, it is going through different color patterns. There's a single button here that has two functions. One, if you press it, it will hold the color. Press it again, it will rotate them again. If you hold it, it'll adjust the brightness. I'll show you. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it down. That goes a little bit dimmer. Hold it down again, that's the dimmest. I'm gonna hold it down, and now it's brightest. Now if I press it, it will hold the current color. I didn't press and hold, I just pressed and released immediately. So now I just have one color. Now if I press it again quickly, it will go back to rotating through the colors. One thing I've noticed about the bulb bright that I don't particularly like is that the light tends to turn off before I'm done in the bathroom. So if you're not moving around too much, it has a tendency to turn off. Before you're done, you might be standing in complete darkness, like that. You might have to move around a little bit. The other thing I noticed is that while this is cool, that the, it turns uh, red when the C is up or down, if you turn the light on, it automatically goes red. So it doesn't really matter. When the light's on, it's always gonna be red. When the light's off, it will be red when the light, when this lid is up. I'm not sure if that matters, but it is something I noticed. Now, if you're sitting down on the toilet, you don't seem to get to enjoy the color as much because it's behind you. See, it just turned off. Now I have to move around a little bit. Okay, now it's back on. Bowl light will stay on for 45 seconds after you leave the room, and a Lumi bowl will stay on for two minutes after you leave the room. When you turn the light on, bowl light will still stay on for the 45 seconds, but a Lumi bowl will go immediately off. So we just stopped at the Timbers for a while. I just had to get my mind off toilet bowls for a while. But now the drink is over. Go back home tomorrow. I'm going to finish up my review. Hopefully I can have a clear head, come to a conclusion about what I think about all these toilet bowl stuff. All right, so we just had a nice night out, had a drink. <laughs> you don't want to know what we were just doing. We just had a nice night out, had a drink. Now I'm going to go back home tomorrow, finish up my review of all the different toilet bowls. The last thing I want to think about right now is a toilet bowl. But unfortunately, that's what I gotta do for my next review, so. You know the thing about the toilet bowls are? Is that you have that arm that goes in the toilet and you always have that and being in danger of something hitting it. And I don't wanna think about having to clean that if something's been hitting it. So to me, the Bulbrite, which is up on the lid, it may only have two colors, but it doesn't get hit by anything. So of those three, that has an advantage. All of the others do have those nice colors, but they're also kind of in the danger zone. They're in the war zone down there. You don't want to be in the war zone. Even if you have fancy colors, I might just stick with the red and green. In the end, I think that these are very similar products. If you see one and you want it, I think you'll probably be happy with it. If you like what you see in the advertising, I'm not sure this is a very necessary product. I'm not sure that it is better than our old school nightlight, but that's up to you to decide. Some people love the idea. If I had to choose between the two of them, I'd probably go with the Illumi Bowl because it has an extra option regarding the brightness and this thin arm is less likely to be compressed by the toilet seat. I also like the fact that it turns off immediately when the light goes on. Otherwise, they're very similar. If you don't like the idea of having to clean these because they're inside the bowl, you might want to find the cheaper bowl bright which attaches to the lid and doesn't get near the inside of the bowl. As with every other product that I review, I'll continue to use these and I'll let you know if anything changes in a future update. Please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, Freakin' Reviews.